Hello my lovelies, this is Maya broadcasting out the UK and today's shaving video is going to be with DR Harris, one of my favourite soap brands and that is Marlboro Scent, which is cedar and sandalwood, so it is quite strong and some would say it's quite manly. I think it's more on the exotic oriental style and I love it, but you do have to get used to its scent. It's super strong. I also wanted to mention before, as you see, I always take bits off. It's a triple milled soap, so it's super hard and it will need blooming. What is blooming? That means when you put a little bit of soap in your bowl or your scuttle and then you add a little water, best if it's lukewarm, and you just let it sit for a few seconds to maybe 30 seconds, which I have done so in my vintage style scuttle. This is the Nathan Smallman scuttle and on the picture at the end of the video you will see that it also has a lid where you can place your brush in. There's no water in today, I'm not soaking my brush. The brush I am using is the 24mm Yucky and this goes under two names, it's either the Hippie or the Chianti and it's really beautiful and I, it's very pearlescent and the light just doesn't do it much justice but it is a beautiful brush and it's got this lovely grey head knot which is soft but has a backbone as well and today is Valentine's Day, so I thought I'd do that. And if you're wondering why I'm looking so weird with my hat today, it's because I have a bun. <laughs> I haven't got my hair down, uh, because after this I shall be washing my hair. So there you go, and it's still quite cold, so I've even got a jumper on today. So whilst I'm going, well, oh, this is going to clank. Okay, so let me just do this in silent. I'll pause you for a minute and I shall come back for the next stage. I just wanted to mention, as I've been clanking along, <laughs> I just wanted to remind you oh, how beautiful the scent is. No, not really that, but this Nathan Smallman scuttle as you can see is quite deep. I keep forgetting that. So I actually chose the wrong size handle for this. It would have been better if I would have taken the longer handle. I don't want, oops. So as you can see, if I hold them up together, this one would have been a lot better. But I wanted to go with the color today. So this wouldn't have clanked. Right, let's get on with it. Um, if you're wondering what that was, that was the Yucky um, Cola, sorry I nearly said Mocha, Yucky Cola and it has the Plisoft, Plisoft, no it has the Plisson knot. Right, let's get to it. Let's, I've got super duper hot Chilton water here, Chilton's are chalk. So we have very hard water, but even with the hard water here, I have not noticed a big problem with lathering up soaps. So if you're having problems with hard water and lathering up soaps, then it's practice or the brush. Okay, so let's get some of this on. And it smells so beautiful. Oh, I love this scent. It is, as I said, rather strong. So I don't use it very often. It's... But I do love it. It's very woody. I love cedar and I love sandalwood. Ate the soap, it doesn't taste nice. <laughs> Not good, doesn't taste so nice. 
here we go. Right, the razor I am using today, also in the colour theme, is the Viking Crusader, Viking's Blade Crusader. I don't know if you can read that, Viking's Blade Crusader. And I don't know why some of these have had so much flack. I have not had a problem with this at all. It's an adjustable, as you can see here. And I have done a review before. You can adjust it up and down to whatever blade gap you want. I've never had a problem with the twist to open. In it I have a Nasset, Gillette Nasset, um, on its fourth, no sorry, on its fifth and last use. I never had a problem with this losing any colour, nor chipping, nor any colour coming off it. So if you have, most probably you got a fake one. So be aware, there are on Amazon they do sell fake ones of these, okay? Um, maybe that's one of the reasons. I've never had a problem. I got it straight off Vikings Blade in America off their website, not from Amazon. So that's where I got mine from. Never had a problem with it. Let's go. Too much talking. With the growth. Ah, the Narset I haven't used you for ages. Good blade indeed. Very good. I've got it on a low setting. With the cold and everything. I'm being super gentle to my skin. I'd rather go low setting and more times than too harsh. And yes, I'm dipping my blade into the warm water that also smooths things down a bit. Oh, wonderful. That was already the first pass. I'm just loving it. Well, today's supposed to, weather-wise, supposed to get warmer again and rain. We will see. And I must say, now most people are going to say, ee, ee, ooh, you can't do that. But I did and I do. I had both my dogs sleep in the bed. Because the big girl, she's been shorn nearly to the skin because she had such bad mats. I call them lockdown mats. There was no way I could get her groomed. The grooming clippers I do have didn't even go through the first layer so I gave up. I finally found a groomer that would do, do her in lockdown. This is against the grain or growth and I said just take it all off because with lockdown you never know how long it's going to be and I have already booked actually for June because this groomer, she's always super booked out. She's a good groomer. And when I say good, it's not necessarily all about the cut or fancy cuts. It's about the kindness and how she handles the dogs. And she's just super duper with all of them. The big girl is a bit nervous. She wriggles a lot. She doesn't like her paws touched. Um, so she's super difficult and in old age, she's also got arthritis. So all of those things matter more. That the handler knows how to treat dogs like that rather than what they look like when they come out. Yes, it does matter, obviously. Um, but with my type of dog, she's a Wheaton Terrier, an Irish soft-coated Wheaton Terrier with a double non-malt coat. And I didn't inform myself when I got her that she should never be clippered. I did read up on books. But nobody mentioned that. Um, so my first mistake was, of course, 
I had a clip it and then the whole growth just gets a lot tighter. I didn't know that that was already the first mistake I did many years ago. Because the old girl is now turning 13. Soon. This is against the growth. From south to north. Chin to nose. Uh, anyway. So she's so... She's been clipped right down to the skin virtually. You can just about see that she's got a coat. <laughs> she almost looks like she's <laughs> she's had a DE shave. Uh, <laughs> poor girl. And it's been so cold. So I have, and don't laugh at me again, this is not normally my style. She has got dog pyjamas. Well, they're not actually, strictly speaking, they're not dog pyjamas. I got, it's like a t-shirt that goes all the way around. No arms, no legs, obviously. Um, and they were bought when she was neutered so that she wouldn't lick her operation wounds and that they would be protected from dirt. That's when we got it, so when she was a young pup. Um, and those are now her PJs. So even with the PJs on, she gets super cold. So I let her sleep at the end of the bed. Same as the little one who's got very light, fluffy hair. <laughs> and not that much of. Um, so with the weather being that cold, I let them sleep at the bottom of the bed with, of course, a protection blanket. I'm not that stupid. So I still have loads left. As you can see, there's at least another pass in there, um, which I'm going to keep. You know how I do that. I won't show it to you again. This feels so good. And the scent lingers quite a long time too. I'm now putting on some aloe activator. This is the old bottle. This is the balancing toner. They all come in this color bottle now, whether it says toner or activator. These are the old ones. But I thought color theme, let's stay with the color theme. Um, yeah, so I let her sleep on the bed, but I'm glad it's warming up. So the last four days she's been sleeping up on the edge of, on the end of the bed, on our feet. Um, yeah, I don't normally make a habit of it. She normally sleeps in her own, her own basket, but down that low floor level, as we still get quite a bit of draft, um, it's just been too cold. Right, activator on. Next step and last step to finish it off is the aloe moisturizing lotion. Ah, oh, this feels just so good. This is such a good quality soap. It's super duper. It is a tallow soap though. I like tello soaps. I have no problem with tello soaps. In fact, in many ways, I prefer them to the vegan ones. Although these days, vegan ones are getting so much better than they used to be. Okay, that's me done. I hope I wasn't waffling too much stuff that doesn't interest you. But I'm done, I'm feeling fabulous. I'll let this soak in. I'm going into the shower next and washing my hair. Right, and I will see you next week. And don't ask me what I've planned for next week because I cannot remember. I have planned something lovely, but I might also change it. So there you go. I enjoyed myself with you. I hope you enjoyed my little session. I'm loving you, leaving you, and I'm missing you already. See you soon. Bye bye.